Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So this is a new series that I'm starting very, very soon. I actually wanted to do something like this, but I never um, I never wanted to take time out of like my farming to actually make this series. But now that I started a second account, I can definitely do this really, really easy. Um, as you can see on the screen on the side, on my main account is still farming while I'm doing this. I'm not sure if I'll keep that screen on, if it looks better, or if, it, if I just play my music or something on the side. I think um, the music actually looks better. Yeah, I think the music looks better. You guys probably aren't too interested in watching a second screen farming on the side anyways in, in, in these short videos. Um, but I'm going through every single monster in the game. My, my plan is to go through every single monster in the game, um, from 1 stars all the way to 5 stars, and just look, take a look at their skill set and just review every single one, and just my thoughts, my opinions on um, where you might be able to use this, this monster, just based on my experience and stuff. And you can definitely point out stuff that I, I missed in the video, and definitely in the future, like when I do like a spotlight or something, um, yeah, I can definitely use the, I can definitely point that out, um, you know, when I, when I do so. So, the first monster that I have planned to do for my review is the Squirrus. Um, a viewer of mine pointed out in a previous video that he's actually really, really good. He recommended this to me for my free-to-play account because he says this is a really easy-to-raise, farmable monster that you can use um, fairly early on, and you can basically just um, abuse the fact that you can just farm, farm him on the second map, and you can get him to Evo 3 really, really fast. And also, he's he has a really, really good leader skill. Um, so this is the Squirrus. He has a attack down 60% on his first skill, and attack down 40% on his second skill. Now, being a two star, this is pretty low. Like you know, most two star activation rates are relatively low. Um, this isn't that bad. Like I would say 60 is 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 around. Oh, like it's 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 okay. It's not like um, you know, it's not like it's like 40%. It's still over 50%. So most of the time, you're still gonna land it. And also his skin skill is an AoE. Um, you know, obviously, if you compare it to a, a natural five star, it's very, very low. But um, you know, just being just being a two star and being how easy it is to to raise one, um, I would say it's actually not bad. Like having a 40% chance to do an attack down for two turns. Like the water lat only has a 60% chance. Um, I know 60% is probably a lot higher, but it's it's a uh, it's pretty good for, for, for a 2 star. Um, but the main selling point of the Squirrus is actually his leader skill. His leader skill gives him a 20 to 25% um, you know, uh, attack, attack increase to all his allies. And this works everywhere. Like This doesn't just work in the arena or dungeons or anything. This works in, in the, the towers, the, um, the, uh, yeah, the arena, the dungeons, the the maps, the normal maps, and you can abuse this early on if you happen to have a, a variant version, like you're you're farming the second map, and you come across a variant version of the squirrel. Um, you should definitely use it for his his leader skill, because 20 to 25 percent early on is definitely a lot. Like most of your units aren't really like you know even gemmed up. Like for right now on this account, my units aren't even gemmed up. Um, and this is just free free stats for your whole entire team, um, everywhere you go. It doesn't matter if it's dungeons, doesn't matter if you're leveling, doesn't matter if you're doing PvP. Um, so that's why that's the main selling point of the scores. That's why he's he's actually a pretty pretty decent monster. So we're gonna take a look at the skill set of the water and wood ones as well. There's no light dark version of him. There's only a water and a wood. Um, the water one is not farmable. You have to summon him somehow. Um, but then again, he's not actually that good. He has a recovery down 60% on his first skill and a 40% sap um, AOE stat for two turns on his second skill. This makes him a I would say decent sapper. Like it's it's a two turn sap um, AOE. So definitely, if you're like within with a lot of enemy units, you're definitely gonna land something. Um, but recovery down, in my opinion, is not that powerful. I think um, most of the time, not a lot of like bosses or anything heals. Like even if they heal, you can still kill them with pure damage. So recovery is kind of a. Um, it's not completely like I wouldn't say it's like a useless skill, but it's it's so something that you can replace with just pure damage. Um, yeah, so th there's no like really really strong healers that can like out heal your damage in this game. Like damage is actually a lot stronger than it is, uh, than than recovery in this game. So most of the time, recovery down on your units is not going to be that useful. 
Um, and Recovery Down doesn't even block all the healing, it only halves it. Like if it blocked all healing, then it would be really, really strong. But it's only it only halves the healing. Now, the third uh, the third Squirrus is actually, in my opinion, the strongest one. He has defense down on his second skill. This is very, very powerful. Um, especially especially on two a unit that has like defense down on both his a first skill and another AOE skill. It's a 60% chance on his first skill, which is just as high as any other like three-star monster. Like if you compare him to like the fire candling, the fire candling has I think a 70, was it or was it a 60? I can't can't exactly remember. Yeah, it's only a 60% skill. So he basically has 40% less on his second skill, but he's a wood defense breaker, and there's not a lot of wood AOE defense breakers in the game. Um, as far as I know, there's no three-star ones. But there's no three-star like AOE defense break on for wood, and the only four-star one is the the wood banshee, and the wood banshee is like really really strong. So um, defense break is really really powerful early on. It just increases your damage by by a lot, and you pretty much get it just by you know just by having this debuff. Um, and he also gets that same leader skill. So if you're planning to raise a scores, I'm definitely recommending you raise a wood one. I'm, I think I. I I, now that I see his leader skill, um, I might spend some time farming the second map, like while I'm leveling my units, and hope that I get a variant version of one of the squirrels, and then I can raise a wood one for, um, you know, for like B7 or something. Uh, maybe I don't need it, maybe I need it, but I think his leader skill is definitely going to be really useful. If not, I'll raise a, a fire one for like B4 and just get him to four stars, and he should be, you should definitely be able to handle like early game pretty easily. And I can probably use him in a lot of like, you know, Tower of Chaos and also for um, for some light PvP as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my first ever review of all the monsters in the game. I'm definitely going to be making a lot more of these and I'm going to go through every single monster in the game until I'm done. Alright, there's going to be a lot to go through. But I'm going to basically go through all the, all the elements of a single monster and just, um, you know, just go from there. So if you, if you guys have any recommendations, be sure to comment below. If you guys like this video, be sure to like it. If you guys hated it, be sure to um, dislike the shit out of it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.